Uh, so, quick thing, I guess, to show. Um, this is a scrub plane iron that I made out of a different, older plane. And this is just a simple demonstration. Uh, when you have these curved bevels that you need to make for scrub planes, the technique that you use for covering... You, normally you would get this with a grinder, but uh, I'm just trying to cover uh, how you how you sharpen this on a, on a oil stone or whetstone. I'm using a coarse Norton. Uh, I'm using a double side right here, so I'm going to be able to flip this over and use this. But I'm just going to show you a technique that uh, you just sort of learn. Um, another thing that I started doing was um, pretty early on I learned that the easiest sharpening method for me... Uh, was doing side to side. Most people do pushing and pulling. Simple, simple way. Some people ro rotate it, which is also pretty uh, uh, fast and efficient for these types of um, uh, these types of plane irons because they're just so they're just so uh, rounded over that it doesn't matter. However, uh, you can also have good results with just doing side to side. If you just do a little motion here, I'm going to try to show it here. So you tilt it in, and you push it this way as you're moving side to side. So you're going to be covering it, and let me see if I can show it, if this camera will catch this here. Pretty much, uh, it's a consistent shine. I don't know why there's a little spot right here that's just showing that I don't, I don't know what it is. But anyways, definitely getting it with the bevel. So I'm going to continue sharpening this until uh, I feel like I've finished recording here. Don't mind the, uh, there's a storm happening right now. So just, just ignore that it's going to be a little noisy here. <laughs> That's a storm brewing.
making sure I cover the whole thing evenly. getting the center here. I think that's why this hasn't been cutting properly. I was having issues with it because I made this. So, when you make something, you're bound to have issues and you're bound to sort of get trial and error process. <laughs> close here I can see a bevel the wire edge is pushing down so hopefully I'm getting close to the edge here <laughs> use either honing oil or WD-40 on these oil stones. I like WD-40 a little bit more right now. <laughs> I can feel that razor edge right there. Well, that's good. I'm gonna wipe this off. Flip it over. Here's the fine side. This Norton, uh, whatever this is, this Norton is really nice. Got it at the flea market for very cheap, so I was very happy. And you don't need much for these scrub planes, they're just not a high maintenance piece of tool. Even when you have, like, a regular, uh, you know, modified scrubbers like uh, jack planes and stuff. It's same same concept. They're not. They're not high maintenance. They're just not. It's just very funny. This is the uh, same thing, you just use... You push it up, you push it down, you push it up, you push it down. Back and forth.
He's just hitting the bottom bevel just so it looks nice and polished. Yeah, it's looking really nice. I don't know what kind of grit this is, but I'm assuming it's a fine. Sometimes you can test. Uh, you can test it. And really, just run your fingers along here. It feels a little bit close to medium, but it's a little bit finer. The other, other side is definitely coarse. And it's really, like, it shocked me how good it was. Just for my general purpose woodworking stuff. So, if you're in a situation where you're like, I need to choose a good stone that's going to last me for a while, just get one of these oil stones, honestly. This one was cheap, so I don't know how the other uh, newer note is going to be. But it comes in this wooden box. It does all this. It does all this for you. It's just. Whoosh. Alright, I'm going to take this over to my buffing wheel. Just to take the burr off. Another thing, I guess, is kind of a uh, trial and error here. Let me wipe this off so I don't get residue stuck on the stone. Another thing that's sort of trial and error here is that uh, I did not. Let me put my stones back. I also got a soft Arkansas stone. That was pretty nice. Uh, it's a shorter one, like a six incher. And I found it was really good for axes, so I was like, this is going to be perfect for my stuff. So, another tr thing that was a trial and error process you hear was I had to make a wedge for this. And it wasn't difficult, it was just something that I wasn't normally, I don't normally do. But I tried to greenwood carve it, which is you use an axe mostly and as saws and whatnot. And it turned out to work pretty good, so we're lucky there. But I probably, I don't know what the old, uh, this is an Olmia German, I believe. And I don't know what the Olmias used to look like. Uh, they're plain iron, so I might just cut this off here. Not sure. Anyways.